assume variability preserve option. The principle number three of scaled agile framework telling us that whenever you are planning something, you need to preserve some options because things may not go as per plan all the time. And especially when you are working in a complex environment, especially when you have a lot of new discoveries happening, those things will happen more often. So you should have options in your plan to take care of the unplanned event which might happen during your planning duration. So this is the, the whole idea and reminding us as a, as a product uh, professionals that okay we need to have some options in hand. Now you might wonder that okay but at the same time scaled agile should help us in get, getting some predictability and, and there is another principle which helps us in doing that and it helps us by way of creating time boxed approach of development. So whatever the variability is coming, it is limited to a particular time box. Say I, I plan for a particular duration and then there could be a variability inside it. And after that, we all stakeholder come together and we critically review it and then we learn from that variability and move forward. So in a way, this is also an option which we are keeping up by way of not planning everything ahead we are planning for a shorter time durations because we know things will go differently and we need to preserve some option for our commitments and our planning as we go along. One of the other thing which is explained at a scaled agile framework uh, dot com related to uh, assume variability uh, preserve option is applying set based design. So the set based design approach is telling us when you are working in a new environment where the problems are not well known, rather than picking up one solution and saying that this approach will help me in, in fixing it and going ahead with it and later on may, may end up discovering that that was not the right approach and then restarting it again. And, and especially when the time to market is critical, the time you are losing in, in applying the sequential thinking is very crucial for you, very expensive for you, then you might apply multiple alternatives. So you may say that we have few solution paths because we don't know what exactly will work. So you can call them options. We start with three or four options depending upon the type of problem you are, uh, you are looking at. And then you review them on a periodic time boxes. You may start dropping some options as they become less and less relevant and you may pick up one option at the end of it but that will speed up your your development process because you assumed variability you assumed that I don't know you 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 accepted the fact that I don't know how things will work out and that's why you started working on multiple options rather than picking up just one alternative and finding it at a later stage it is working or, or not working so that's the one thing which is also explained at scale agile framework related to this particular uh, principle the other things which I feel are relevant and, and also well relate with this particular uh, uh, principle is that when we are doing say projections what is going to finish what is going to happen when in a scale agile framework we are not doing very long-term commitments we we balance our commitments and, and and alignment of the stakeholder by way of creating product roadmap rather than a, a plan so we may have a very well understood and committed feature for our current PI, program increment, a current time box, that's the word I can use. But for the future time boxes, it's just an intent that after do after this, we are planning to do that rather than planning, we intend to do that and then we will do something else. So that intent will get refined based on the learning which is coming in this particular uh, uh, program increment. So that's the another way of, of, of seeing the, the implementation of assume variability uh, preserve option. You also see this particular principle is, is also getting uh, implemented in our day-to-day -day planning things at an iteration level as well as a program increment level. We, we not necessarily commit for our 100% of our capacity. We may not necessarily commit for or for the exact set of requirements, we may keep some set of options there as well. So when we are planning even for our uh, shorter time boxes, there also we may keep less options there because we have some amount of understanding, but, but the variability is assumed at that stage is also. And because of that assume, assumed variability, we also plan to have frequent sync ups or frequent inspect and adapt on our plan. So if I have planned for a program increment say for 10 weeks, uh, frequently, at least once in a week, all of the program uh, teams, say agile teams comes together, representative comes together and they reflect on how are we doing because we understand that things may go 
against the plan or different than plan we need to have some way of adjusting it as we are going along so frequent scrum of scrum frequent daily scrums also is kind of of a manifestation of of a belief that things are changing every day and we need to also change in order to remain focused on on delivering customer value at the end of a given uh, time box so that's the principle so we do assume variability and we need to keep uh, uh, options all the time you may relate it with a cone of uncertainty as well this these uncertainties will reduce as you start knowing about your product about your technology about your people uh, over a period of time but all the times there is a need of keeping some options in hand because variability is 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 a is a reality